So Leaky, we know that human beings have been telling stories way old time, like during cave times, all these paintings and everything. And it's become kind of a, a important skills, especially for job seekers to tell their stories on LinkedIn, on your cover letter, or even during an interview. Do you think that that skills can be enhanced and learned? 100%. I, you know, um, I've been in business for many years, and every time I see a resume, it just looks the same. Yeah, it's when I have the one on one face to face conversations mm -hmm. is when that human connection becomes that only occurs when the authentic person shows up with a real story about themselves. And it's about understanding who they are as a human being, and they can articulate where they're from, why they're why they're doing what they're doing, and mm -hmm. what their purpose and passion is. Yes. What I find, honestly, is that if we are applying for a position that lands within our purpose and passion, then we can easily articulate that and the story becomes natural. Yeah. But what about sometimes new immigrants or new graduates? They just need a job and there's no alignment, but, you know, someone has to pay the bill. So how can that alignment or storytelling can be convincing then? Well, there's nothing to be convincing about. If it's a real story, mm -hmm. it shows up as authentic. Okay. It's when we start telling stories because we want the job. Yeah. That's when the person listening to it can understand and hear it. And then they, they tune them out. So oh. even if it's just a job, mm -hmm. like to pay the bills, yeah, you still have to show up authentically yes. and be real in that interview. And do you have any specific tips? How can that people, you know, can enhance their storytelling, writing down, repeating the story or courses or something? Excuse me. You can always write down your stories, uh, but I find that if you are authentically knowing what your story is, mm -hmm. you'll know it. You'll remember it. You'll say it, mm -hmm. and you'll say it with passion. It's when we start reading it and ad lib or reading it and and, and having to answer it in a specific way. Yeah, that's when things get a little messy. Mm -hmm. So understand who you are, and share from your heart what that story is. Now, I always get on to interviews or conversations beforehand. I read what I want to say, then I forget it. Mm -hmm. Because now it's up here. Yeah. Then I just say it from my heart. Those are great tips, Licky. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Licky.